Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, can I be charged by both the state and the federal government for the same crime? The answer is yes, provided that the offense constitutes both a state court and a federal court crime. In this instance, not only can you be charged by both the state and the feds for the same criminal act, but even worse, you could be found guilty in both, you could be sentenced in both, and you could be ordered to serve what would amount to consecutive time for the very same criminal act. Let's take bank robbery, for example. All 50 states have laws prohibiting robbing banks, and so do the feds. So if you get popped for a bank heist, it's conceivable that you could be duly prosecuted, duly convicted, and duly punished. And no, this would not constitute double jeopardy. The reason that this is not double jeopardy is because each state and the feds are independent sovereigns. Even though all 50 states and all persons inside of each of those 50 states are bound to follow federal law, each of the 50 states is also legally considered to be its own sovereign. And so each has its own set of laws binding everyone in that given state's borders. So if a criminal act constitutes both a state and federal crime, yes, you can be held accountable for that offense in both the state and federal systems. And if that's not bad enough, think about this. Neither the state nor the feds are bound to honor the sentence from the other. So let's say you got 10 years in state court for bank robbery and then 20 years in federal court for that very same bank robbery, you could wind up serving 30 years. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Michael A. Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, ask me more. We'll be putting them out soon.